Well, it seems like we're gonna have a new record armor regen build coming for the next update. Because with this build, I was hitting 193,000 armor regen. And still, I was shredding in enemies really, really fast for the build that has 2.1 million armor. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to one more Tom Clancy The Division 2 video. Now, before we get into the video, I do want to point out this video I recorded like uh what like now six days ago and the reason why i did not upload it since then is because on the video of the first recording my voice was sick as you guys know and the pts has been gone since then what i'm gonna do now is record my audio on top of it again and i'll show you guys what we're working on coming for the next update i do want to show you guys this so let's get into this okay so the pts phase one had some changes to the brand sets where something there got my attention was the change for the Gilagard brand set and also the Golan Gear brand set, which is what makes this build. Now, they both got two changes actually to the bonuses, and on the Gilagard side of things, it got a buff from the 10% health to 20% health, which I don't know why we haven't health on this game, to be honest with you, but anyways. And then the third bonus, that's where it's more important, it got a buff from 1% armor regen to 3% armor regen. So that's the Gilagard. Now on the Golden Gear, also it got two changes. On the second buff, we got 2% armor regen, which is what we need for this build. But also it did get a change to the third buff, which is the 5% total armor, going up to 10% total armor. But we're not going to be using that on this build. So with that said, with those changes, like I said, I did want to try this out and see how much armor regen I can put on a build and see if we can still delete the enemies with a good amount of DPS. Because usually if you have a lot of armor, well, your damage goes down, obviously, right? Because you don't have a lot of damage. Now, with the Ouroboros, things change because you guys know the SMG Ouroboros is one of the highest DPS SMG in the game. This is basically going to add up to that damage on this build to be able to hit those DPS with 2.1 million armor. Okay, so let's do a quick breakdown of the build. So, first of all, keep in mind, everything in here that you guys can see, it's max expertise, which is level 24. Only the pistol doesn't have that. So, basically, we are pushing the highest armor that we can have on this build. And also, we push into the highest damage that we can have on this build by using the Ouroboros and have it at expertise level 24. Okay, so let's break down the gear combination. So, for the gear, we have three Gila Guards, two Golem Gears, and one exotic backpack, the Memento backpack. The three Gila Guards brand set is because we unlock that 3% armor regen by equipping three pieces. For the Golden Gear, we need two pieces because we unlock that 2% armor regen on the second gear. And finally, the Memento backpack, as you guys know, it does have bonuses that will give you as you pick up trophies from the floor by killing your enemies. So once you pick up 30 max stacks of the Memento trophies, you will gain a total of 30% weapon damage, 30% skill efficiency, and that 3% armor regens for 5 minutes that we are looking for. So adding up, we're getting 3% from the Memento, 3% from the Gila Guard, and 2% from the Golden Gear. That's going to be a total of 8% armor regen on this build. That's coming from 2.1 million armor. Which, speaking of that, all of the core attributes on these gears are going to be core attribute armor. That's all we have, and that's all we want for this build, obviously, right? Now, for the attributes, there is two choices in here. One of them, obviously, it's armor regen on every single one of the pieces. And the second attribute can be all crit damage. Because of the Ouroboros mods, we are going to be able to hit that 59% crit chance by just equipping three crit chance mods. Now, in my case, I actually did the opposite way. I had three of the gears with crit chance and I put the mods crit damage. So basically you need three crit chance on a gears or mods and the rest dumped in crit damage. And if I go on my stats, I can show you that I have 59% crit chance and I still have 115 crit hit damage. Okay, so let's talk about the two named items I have on this build. Starting off with a mask. We have in here the Chill Out Mask. This mask comes from the Gila Guard 
Renset. And honestly, this is not necessary. I only have it here because I did not have a regular Gilgard mask and it does not have to be this one. You just have to be modded the way I explain it. So that's out of the way. Now, the second named item is on the chest piece. And I do recommend this one because it's going to allow you to get a lot more damage for the build that we have currently. And the talent Perfect Intimidated did get a change. Uh, actually, did get a buff. And I'm not sure if it's working as intended. So let me explain. From the time of the PTS, there was two different descriptions for this talent. So in game, the description was, while you have bonus armor, gain one stack each second up to a max of 10. Each stack increase weapon damage by 5% to enemies within 10 meters. Now, I feel like this is the wrong description and the one in the patch notes is the right description. And let's take a look at that. So on the patch note, it says, gain three stacks per second up to 10 and each stack increased total weapon damage by 4% to enemies within 10 meters. And that was a change before it was only one stack per second up to a max of eight. Now, the reason why I feel like the description on the patch notes is the correct one is because if you do not have the talent activated, right, as soon as you gain that bonus armor, you will see that your meter for the perfect intimidated will fill up really fast. Like it feels like it filled up in three seconds instead of 10 seconds, because if we go by the description of the in game on the PTS, I would say that would have have taken 10 seconds to fill up that perfect intimidated meter but instead it fills up really fast almost instantly so that's why i feel like the description from patch notes it's more correct because on the patch notes it says three stacks per second which will fill up a lot faster so with that said with all of that out of the way i do recommend having this named item on the chest piece which is the hunter skiller because of that perfect intimidated it's gonna allow us to gain a lot of damage for this build because we're gonna have bonus armor a lot of the time because we're gonna be picking up the trophies from the four for the memento and on top of that that's from the golden gear brand set that we actually need for this build so it just fits perfectly so now let's talk about the weapon choice for this build the obvious choice to be honest with you in my opinion which is the exotic smg the ouroboros now this weapon is just straight up a beast we all know that as one of the highest the highest dps in the game for smg and it's just straight up it does not have a talent that you need to proc that damage it just straight up has that dps and also has 50 rounds on the magazine which is a pretty decent amount of rounds for most of the weapons in this game now one funny thing to keep in mind i have it on expertise level 24 but taking a look at the attributes the third attribute what i have in there i have swap speed so <laughs> i forgot to change this because i forgot i was in the pts i forgot to change that and get damage target out of cover so everything that you just saw uh the damage i was killing the enemies that was before i added 10 percent damage to target out of cover so keep that in mind right keep that in mind so if i added damage to target out of cover i would be killing the NPCs a slight bit faster so now to finish it off just taking a look at the stats so the offensive stats we're gonna have 59 percent crit chance 115% crit hit damage we are missing 10% damage target of cover but that's okay and then on the defensive stats keep in mind one thing i also want to show you in here just sitting here without having any memento stacks we always gonna have 130,000 armor regen which is very high before we get that 3% from the memento which is gonna put us at 193,000 right so that's already pretty strong arm regen um before that memento buff so with that said guys this is the i would say the review for the armor regen that's coming for the next update this i believe is gonna be the one of the highest armor regen builds that you can achieve for the next update if if they keep it like this for the actual update because I gotta say this again this is the pts phase one these are changes that might go to the game or might not so just keep that in mind personally 
I like these changes. Um, I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, armor regen are pretty good builds. Uh, fun builds to to run. Also, I do. I want to say this: armor regen builds are not immortal. I know YouTubers like to put like immortal or you know you don't die or whatever the case is, just to make a good thumbnail. To be honest with you, but you die with these builds. You just have to play smart. You just have a lot more armor to make you a lot tankier. But you you can die with these builds. Okay, uh, I I just wanted to point that out because I, I see those titles all the time. So, anyways, yes. This build is not an immortal build, but it's a very strong when it comes to tanking with um, a lot of armor regen. With that said, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this build. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video with a like on the video. I would appreciate it. Uh, subscribe for more Division 2 content and cannot wait for Phase 2 of the PTS to check out the new exotics that's coming for the next update. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out, everybody.